Three secret weapons for dunking that will take you from never having dunked before to basically being a pro dunker. And yes, this is possible for you. I don't care who you are, how tall you are, or anything else. It doesn't matter. And first of all, I'm posting a YouTube video about dunking, jumping higher, having a better athletic mindset every single day for a year straight. So if you want to follow along and see the growth, not only in our channel, but in yourself as a dunker, which you will become, then you know what to do. But the number one secret weapon is video yourself. I gotta tell y'all something, man, about this guy I know who I was at this camp, right, about dunking. It's the dunk camp. I'm sure y'all have heard of it. And he had never dunked before. And so at the dunk camp, you work on your jump technique, right? So imagine this kid showing up to dunk camp and he's never dunked before. Like that would suck. Even if you've dunked before, you can imagine that that would suck. And for those of you who haven't dunked before, you know that would suck. You know you wouldn't want to go somewhere knowing you can't dunk. But he was brave enough to do it. And that's the whole point. Because at that camp, guess what he did? Go ahead, guess. Oh, here we go. So this kid recorded himself, worked on his jump technique, and was able to improve it so much in one day that he was able to throw down his first dunk off a lob. And the crazy part is, is I saw him do this, and it wasn't like a soft dunk. Like, he punched his first ever dunk. So that shows the power of jump technique for you. I don't care who you are, you may have a similar result. And if it's not like that, it's going to be a matter of inches. Your, your vertical is going to go up, bro. So that's the power of video. You can fix your jump technique. You can notice little things, uh, fix little things like hand placement, like where you actually jump from. For example, maybe you're jumping from somewhere and you're jumping too far away and you're jumping forward rather than up. So instead of jumping so forward, you're losing vertical. You just got to jump straight up. And if you jump straight up, you might be doing this. So that's another thing that I can help you with. It's also inspiration for you to continue and track your progress as you grow and look back on. Plus, at the end of the day, you don't know what you're going to do or what you might need it for. I'm helping people dunk and jump higher right now. I never thought I would even be able to do this, but I'm glad I have those old videos now. So that's a, that's a really key one, bro. But at the end of the day, you need to pay attention to every single weapon you can use in the dunk arsenal because it's really a percentage and numbers game. Like every little thing that helps you gets you a little bit closer to your goal. So that's how this works. And that's why the dunk weapon number two that you need to know is understand that nobody remembers the failures for very long. Like if you're willing to fail, then you're going to have a lot of successes, but you may have to miss a hundred times to even get there. Like y'all ever think about that in the past? Like it was better before or something. Cause in our mind, we only remember the good things a lot of times. Like, oh, it was better then. And so we compare our lives now to a time in the past, but it's kind of the same for dunking, bro. Like, honestly, that's the way people are. So when you miss a hundred dunks, chances are nobody's going to really remember that, but they may remember the one dunk that you just punch in a crowded gym in a big game. And you had to miss so many times to even get that dunk. And nobody will ever know that, but you'll know that and you'll always remember that. So it's the same with dunking as anything else in life. Like most people aren't going to remember you misses, bro. So if you're willing to miss, then you're going to end up getting a lot of successes. You're going to get those viral dunks that you've always wanted. And it's not about that, but it's just a byproduct of being willing to fail. Like I missed 20 dunks in game probably before to ever get my first dunk in game, like 20 times. So you had to leave the gym every single one of those times and it sucked every time. But the one I remember now in the past is the one I made. And I don't like associate all those misses. I only associate the positive make, the one make I had my first ever Duncan game at 14 years old. So excuse me, at 15. Well, I can't even remember now. It was 14 or 15, but I first dunked at 14. I first dunked in game at 15. That's what it is. But yeah, bro, this is a mental tip, but it's a very powerful secret because your mind is the, literally the most powerful thing you have at the end of the day. But that doesn't leave out number three. And of course, I had to save the best for last. The number three top secret weapon you can use to jump higher in dunk is believing in yourself. But what does that even mean? Like, how do you practically actually believe in yourself? Well, I'll just give you some practical examples right now. Um, you could, this is stuff that I do, by the way. You could say yes to everything that sounds tough. So anytime something comes up, it's like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't care what it is, bro. You got to humble yourself. I don't care if it's yard work. Like say yes to stuff you don't want to do. And it's going to make you tougher to where if you want to go work out, it's not even going to be a question. Like that's, that's your fun. Your fun is working out because you're already doing these things you don't want to do. And be willing to suck at something, bro. Like when I first started trying to dunk, I sucked. When I first started posting on social media, I sucked. I suck on YouTube right now and I'm doing my best to get better. That's the, how it works with anything. Be willing to suck. <laughs> Pause. Compare yourself to the best of 
every aspect of what you do. This is a big one for me. So when I lifted weights, I compared myself to the best weightlifters, and I sucked compared to them. If, um, if you're a center, for example, compare your ball handling to a point guard. Or let's say you can dunk easily and you're 6'8". It's just easier to dunk when you're 6'8". It's just the facts. Nothing wrong with that. But compare your actual vertical, right? Your actual vertical to somebody who's 5'7". So you're basically continually humbling yourself in order to get better. And if you're like one of the best in every aspect of something, you're guaranteed to be great. You'll be forced to be great if you do that. If you compare yourself to the best in every category, even if it's your weak category, that's that's what it means practically to believe in yourself, bro. But it also means to take action. So if this video helps you and you understand the mindset that I go by my life with, that I've learned to dunk with, if you understand that, then I have a way to help you because in the description of this video, there's a free workout. So you can literally just put your email in, do a free workout. You can take action, start getting bouncy. You can try implementing these powerful weapons, bro. Like this is stuff I wish I had when I was your age. Nobody told me this stuff. But you can start implementing it to not only dunking, but also just basketball in general or your life in general. Bro, be one of the people who were never supposed to dunk, but now you can. Be that person no matter what your friends, family, or anyone else says, bro. You can do it. You just got to believe in yourself.